What's going on, wrestling fans? Welcome into Near Falls with D Hall, a wrestling podcast, episode number 71. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about and with a bunch of different college coaches from across the area at the division one, two, and three level. Super excited to release this, guys. Uh, it's been a lot of work, a lot of fun talking to all these different coaches from around the area. Uh, super excited to get into it. But if you haven't already, go back, check out my long form interviews that I released this summer Joe Marquera, Mackenzie McGuire, Ty McGeary, and just recently, uh, Rob Walker, who I just sat down with, episode number 70. That was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, go back and check out those long form episodes. I really enjoyed having those guys over. And coaches, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, taking time out of your busy schedule this time of year. I know it's a lot. Um, sitting down and talking about your squad. But yeah, man, a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy uh, this edition of the NCAA preview brought to you by Switch Custom Apparel. We had to start it off. You guys know it. My main man, coach at Waynesburg, head coach at Waynesburg, Aaron McKinney. How are you, sir? I'm doing good, man. Thanks again for having me. Uh, appreciate second year in a row doing a preview. And out of excitement, I was rocking my near falls with d hall hat all day at work today so i was amped up to be able to come back this year and, and be with you guys hell yeah man well we were at uh I, well at least i was at uh the golf outing this weekend that was a lot of fun i uh brought a group of buddies out and uh man we were on the way home we just talked about how much fun we had together and just it felt like we just zoomed home so that and you know that's what it's all about just kind of getting together supporting uh supporting teams so man thank you for having us for that that was a blast um but furthermore, how has the off season been going for you guys? How, how's the program been going? Real good, man. I mean, uh, from top to bottom, coaches, kids, the whole nine yards. We've been working hard in in every aspect. I mean, now that we guys got guys got the guys back on campus. That means a whole different thing. But through the summer, it was pretty cool uh, getting to recruit a pretty big class, bring in some really good kids, um, kind of get the to that next step of i don't want to call it rebuilding but back to where waynesbury wrestling is supposed to be where it has been in history and continue that that tradition that's been embedded in the university um so you talk about that tradition you talk about that obviously you're taking over in you know i know it's tough to say rebuild you're taking over at a base level do the kids know that you have coming in do they understand that you know the, the names on the wall, the history that you guys have real deal program. Oh yeah. I mean, we've definitely diversified our recruiting. So we're, we're outside of Western Pennsylvania. We're outside of the state of Pennsylvania, that kind of stuff. So it's definitely something we, we made sure to hit home as we talk to kids and everything. So the big, it's really cool. The big thing I've talked with a lot of, a lot of kids, they want to be somewhere that's a family that has that tradition, has that history and, and has that support and that community atmosphere. So that's something that's really beneficial for us. We have all those aspects that we can hit on with kids. And when they, we bring them in, yeah, we're a small rural t rural town, but can make it feel like home. And as a wrestler, you you kind of feel like the big man on campus. And it, it's cool to see. So going through the process where the guys we're bringing in and then the guys that are coming back and that have had success in recent history that are kind of continuing that legacy. Uh, it's cool to talk about those guys. So, yeah, they definitely get it. And it's something that we're learning each and every day as we're in the room. Okay, next thing I got to talk to you about. Um, you made the jump from high school to the college ranks. During that time, recruiting um, is just so crazy from when even when we were in high school. And it, the game has changed so much. Um, how have you diversified or have you diversified your recruiting um, as far as transfers versus high school guys? Um, what's that process look like? Yeah, man. I mean, the landscape is completely different. You hit the nail on the head. Like how contact coaches got in contact with us when we were coming out of college is completely different. But I mean, pros and cons, but there's a lot of cool things. There's a lot of resources, whether it's an app, whether it's a website where we can build connections and relationships with kids. So, I mean, heck, I was blasting out emails through some of our profiles to 20,000 kids across the country and seeing what we could get pulled in and and starting to dwindle that as conversations went along and everything, get them on campus, all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, we've had kids on campus from California, from Florida, from Texas, from um, all over the place. I had a kid email me back uh, out of that blast email from Hawaii, two or three of them. So it's crazy the connections that you can make now and how it's just the click of a button. You send an email and these kids are getting back to you that 
they're just seeking out opportunities and they want to have a chance to compete at the next level. And, and I think we provide a very unique and a very good opportunity, both athletically and academically. So it's just, do we fit the mold of what they're looking for, where they want to study all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, yeah, jumping from high school to college, it was definitely a transition for me. It was something new. It was new territory, but I mean, I I've been coaching for a while. I've been around good guys. I've, I've been in strength and conditioning. And to me, it's just all building relationships um, at the end of the day, we tell our kids or tell our recruits all the time, wrestling is going to end one day. We have a unique avenue to help you become a better man, a better person, a better professional through the sport of wrestling. Um, so, that I mean, that's a conversation that we get to have a lot of times. Like we're putting good people in the world through the sport of wrestling. Um, so it's it's not nothing different than what you want to do as a high school coach, what you want to do as a strength coach and just as a good human being. Love that. Love that. All right, Aaron, let's get into your squad. Um, yeah, man. Returning, obviously, uh, one of your hammers is Colby Moore. So we've talked about yep. him a bunch. But who are some of the new incoming guys um, that maybe are catching your eye? I mean, we got started in the room this week, and uh, even sitting down with guys like JT, Colby, a couple other guys that are returning, and uh, talking about our freshman class and how they they show up. So I mean, we've got guys from top to bottom, and some some new ones sprinkled in there too. And I'll kind of explain. So definitely got a good recruiting class coming in, but some like old but new leadership. So guys like Josh Kuzlock, who was a pack champ, was a two-time regional placer at Waynesburg. Whippy old boy. Um, He's a Char Houston a, kid, right, bud? Char Houston guy. Yeah. yeah, tough wrestler. He's back in the room. He's finishing his degree, and he, we've got an opportunity to get him back on a mat with us. So that was a cool one to get. I mean, just looking out of the Whippy old, I think we've got four or five. So we got Jackson Spiteri from Peters Township, Braden Barboa from Ringgold, uh, Jesse Orban from Char Houston, and then just – the di- diversification of our recruiting. We've got guys in from Texas. So I know we got uh, Jamarian Lewis from Texas, uh, Jacob Wilson from Texas, Jarvis Thomas from Georgia, David Fish from Maryland. Uh, I know I'm missing a bunch of guys in there. Uh, Jerron Polk is another out of state guy. Um, Aiden Holloway, a guy from Florida. Uh, so all up and down the lineup, we were able to kind of through those those avenues and those profiles and that kind of stuff. It, it definitely helped us out. I love that. Definitely a different way of looking at it and uh, thinking outside the box as far as recruiting. Nice. All right, man. Coaching staff. I know that uh, whoever was hitting behind us, uh, oh, yeah. they were shoving it right up. You know where they were really good. Uh, oh, yeah. Throwing some darts, man. That's a. Uh, I'm assuming one of those guys is your assistant coach, right? Yeah, that was Coach Garber, Nick Garber. Um, he could throw it, man. He's a good golfer. He can. I was excited to get him out. We've we've talked about it. Never got to play together. Uh, I knew he could play just through conversation. So it was, it was cool, especially behind you guys. Cause I know you had a group that could play too. I was like, I want to yeah. see who's going to win this. This is going to be a little bit of a battle. So that was cool. But yeah, next It was back, fun, man. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Good time. But he's uh yeah, he's back helping us out again this year. Uh, another guy familiar to the program was a three-time regional champ, all American uh, at Waynesburg under coach Headley and coach Yates. So he's just, another level to that history and that tradition that, that helps with us. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. All right, man. Uh, what's your schedule look like? Uh, w- w- we talk about this and this is like one of my favorite questions I talked to all these coaches about. And um, I'm not sure if it's different from the high school to the college ranks. Obviously you did really good job at the high school level, getting the West day boys ready to go for States. Um, but what was it like? Uh, or what, how do you build your schedule to get these guys ready for, you know, regionals and nationals? Yeah. I mean, like anything, um, like I'm sure most coaches approach it, you want to be able to peak at the right time and you want your guys challenged throughout the year. We don't want to get comfortable and complacent. So we definitely take that in into account. We get a lot more opportunity to wrestle in some dual tournaments and whatnot. Uh, so we'll do some traveling. I know a big one in, in the early part of the year, we're going out to Averett for the Cougar Dole, Cougar Dolls. We're hosting our own dual tournament. Uh, at Waynesburg with a handful of teams. We'll go out to the Kalahari duels, um, a couple others in there. So, And then the challenge guys will go to places like Wilkes Open, uh, the Storm Open at Lake Erie College. John Where's Simon the Wilkes Open at, at bud? Uh, at Wilkes College and like Wilkes-Barre Scranton area. Okay, that's where I thought. Okay, nice. Yeah. But that'll be a good one, kind of kicking off the season where we, we get some challenges, get some, some matches to win, kicking off at the uh, – Ned McGinley at King's College, which is always a good one. Some good regional competition to start the year. Then back down to WNJ, get to see some conference competition, some local guys. 
so we, we try to span out, try to make sure we get to hit those regional opponents, those pack opponents, all that kind of stuff and, and prepare throughout the year. Love that. Love that. All right, man. Next thing I got to talk to you about, we touched a little bit. I see West Allegheny and you're it, it, behind you. Obviously we got to talk about it, buddy. You know, uh, we both are West eight boys through and through Marky Bono. Another one as well. All yes. three of us, uh, one hell of a year for the boys last year. Uh, what was it mm-hmm. like to kind of step away and and watch that? Man, I don't even know if I got words. I mean, growing up, you always knew that group of kids. I mean, even the ones that that kind of laid the groundwork before the Ty McGeary's, the Jordan Waters, the Rocky McGeary's, all those guys. I mean, it was going to be something special. It was just a matter of time before it cracked through. And uh, Ty setting the stage and the year before as a junior and, and kind of, I was got to say in an interview with the paper, he, he kind of let everybody know it could happen. Like we weren't going to fall short again. We cracked through, we finally got one, let's make it two, let's make it three and keep this rolling. And uh, I mean, it was tough being away at times. I was glad that I'm still living local. I got to see those guys support those guys and stuff. And, but I mean, having guys like, like Troy back in a room back where he belongs back home, Marky, all you guys, Justin's still still there. Uh, Justin's still helping out. I mean, it's a family thing, and it's a, we'll always be a family to each other. So whoever was sitting in the corner, it didn't matter. It was it was cool to see that it was our guys though, doing it and doing it together. Love that. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, buddy. Uh, I got to ask about my man JT. He looks good. Yeah. I saw him at the I saw him at the outing. He's slimming down. Yeah. Uh, how's he coming along? I'm excited for JT. I know he uh, he had a frustrating year last year with his ankle injury that kind of lingered and ended up not getting to compete. But um, he's he's amped up. He's fired up. He's he's constantly on me, constantly harassing me. So he's excited to get on the mat. Um, I'm really excited to see what he does a year off of competition. I know it's something he's hungry for, and he's put a lot of work into. I mean, he's rolling in the, in the room this week with Colby, so some of the best guys in the room. He's challenging himself. Um, He's one of our leaders with workouts, shows up every day with a purpose, everything we asked for him. Uh, just just a good kid. Got to, He was part of my first group when I was at West Day, so I have got to see him through the last five years, and I'm really excited for JT. Love that. All right. When are rest swaps, my friend? Uh, October 25th on at 7 p.m. in the field house. Nice. Okay. So are you going to be able to, like, are you going to have, like, streaming or anything like that? Yeah, Bobby Fox, our uh, SID, does a really good job uh, in conjunction with the communications department. They always make sure that there's a live feed. Um, I don't know if they'll have it broadcasted on our radio station or anything like that, but definitely be a live stream. They'll be posted out on our social media and and, uh, website. All right, cool stuff. All right, next thing I got to ask you before we kind of wrap it up. um, Women's wrestling, it's exploding, man. What uh, What's the thoughts? Uh, Waynesburg, they looking at a women's team? You guys, what's that look like? I think we're getting there, man. Honestly, um, there's some good conversations going on. I know it, it's gone well above me to the people that ultimately make the decision uh, with PA sanctioning the sport and the popularity are around town and, and around the state. I think it's definitely coming. I would definitely like for that to happen. I think it's it's only beneficial for our for the sport, for our program and, and what we are able to do together. So um, I would definitely bet on seeing women's wrestling at Waynesburg in the future. Awesome. Awesome stuff. All right. Um, anyone you want to shout out, uh, before we kind of leave you go? Uh, I mean, as always, you guys near, near falls with D hall. Always love listening to you guys. Love what you're doing for the sport, for us coaches and for these kids, getting them the exposure that they deserve. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, that about covers it. My man. Appreciate you as always, Aaron. Thank you so much. We'll be looking uh, forward to seeing you guys do your thing in the PAC. Um, it's it, it's a sneaky little conference, man. It's coming together, and uh, you know you add in St. Vincent and you know Teal, and it's it's not bad. Obviously, W and J. So yeah, man, I'm excited to see how you guys keep rolling and uh, keep building it. Obviously, you keep recruiting those uh, Whipple boys. I think you'll be all right. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's a it's a battle in the pack, but it's it's good. It's uh it's competitive. We're all looking at a lot of the same kids, and I'm looking forward to it. it. Just makes things more fun. Love that. Love that. Thank you, Aaron. Appreciate you. Of course, buddy. I appreciate it, fellas.